The Knights of Zamor are an enigmatic set of enemies that we encounter in very specific areas of the Lands Between. We find the majority of the knights we can face in the Zamor Ruins in the mountaintop of Giants, while the ancient heroes of Zamor can be found within heroes' graves in the mountains and the Altus Plateau. So who are these knights? What is their purpose? And why are some of their people hailed as heroes and given extravagant burial grounds in the Lands Between? Let's find out. We can glean the most information about the Knights of Zamor from the Zamor set. Each piece tells us they were hailed as heroes in the war against the giants, and that these long-lived heroes clad in biting, freezing winds are said to have been the mortal enemies of the fire giants since time immemorial. So we know that even though these knights have a ghastly, almost undead visage, they're likely not reanimated corpses, but simply a people with what those in the lands between consider to be an extended lifespan. They're clad in biting, freezing winds, which means the frost magic they wield can actually be felt just by standing in their presence. Most importantly, they were heroes in the war against the giants that Merrick fought so long ago. They all seem to wield the Zamor Curved Sword, which tells us they earned great renown during the war against the giants. The weapon was made with an apparent devotion to winter, and is styled after an icy wind and imbued with a powerful frost effect. Not only do these knights utilize the power of frost, they've embedded it into their weaponry. Their fighting style is very loose and flowing, utilizing a speed almost akin to the Black Knife Assassins, and they take wide swings with their weapons, sometimes leaving behind ice that juts out to strike our tarnished. While they are a powerful, difficult enemy that prepares us for what to expect from the mountaintop of giants, it is possible their current strength pales in comparison to what they could do in their prime. When Queen Marika and Godfrey, the first Elden Lord, were on the warpath, conquering the lands between, they saw the fire giants as an obstacle too large for them to tackle with their strength alone. During this stage of the war, they enlisted the aid of the Knights of Zamor, who, as we know, were no friends of the fire giants. Marika herself considered their strength great enough to add to her own forces, and with the help of the Zamor, all but one of the fire giants were exterminated. For their help in taking the mountaintop of giants for the Golden Order, some of the Knights of Zamor were hailed as heroes. We can encounter the ancient heroes of Zamor in two different tombs in the lands between, and we believe that one of these graves is not meant for the ancient hero of Zamor himself. He instead defends this holy tomb and the riches within. This is the sainted hero's grave in the Altus Plateau, likely the second time we will encounter any warrior of Zamor if we've been thoroughly exploring the lands between. The ancient hero residing in this tomb protects the spirit ashes of the ancient dragon knight Kristoff. He is known as an honorable knight of Leyendel, who was also a devout worshipper of the ancient dragons. His skills strike down foes with thunderbolts, the dragon's weapon of choice. After the first defense of Leyendel, Kristoff earned the hero's honor of Erdtree burial for the feat of capturing Godfroy the Grafted. It is likely the title of Sainted Hero's Tomb is actually referring to Kristoff, and the Zamor hero defends him so that his ashes may remain undisturbed. The second tomb where we can encounter an ancient hero of Zamor is the giant conquering hero's grave. This grave seems to be dedicated to locking away secrets of the giants, as it is crawling with fire monks and even contains the giant seal. This item is described as a sacred seal depicting the one-eyed god of the fire giants, adorned with braids of red hair. Wielded by fire monks and prelates, this catalyst enhances giants' flame incantations. Once we reach the boss room of this tomb, we encounter an ancient hero of Zamor, and upon defeating him, we are rewarded with the Zamor Curve Sword and the Zamor Set. In this case, we think it's safe to assume that the giant conquering hero was the one we face in battle, as it would make sense for the tomb of a Zamor hero to rest above the Zamor ruins, and a member of this warrior tribe to want to lock away the secrets of their greatest enemies. The final ancient hero of Zamor we can find is easily the most mysterious. This hero is locked within an Everjail, and is in fact the earliest possible Zamor warrior we can access. This Everjail is located in the Weeping Peninsula, and requires a stone sword key. 
The big question here is why would a hero of Zamor be locked away when we know they were America's greatest allies during the war with the Giants? We think that the reason for his imprisonment may have to do with the item he drops upon his defeat, Radagon's Scar Seal. This is a powerful talisman that represents the lifelong duty of those chosen by the gods, and it grants incredible power to its user at the cost of survivability. There are two possibilities we can see for why this hero is locked in the Weeping Everjail. First, he may have been given a mission to protect Radagon's Scar Seal from those who would take it for themselves. By sealing himself in an Everjail, and even adding the additional layer of security by requiring a Stone Sword Key, he would ensure the seal was protected, with one-to-one -one combat as his final stand. The second possibility is that after defeating the giants, this ancient hero took the Scar Seal for himself, and his punishment was locked within the Everjail. Of course, then we must ask, why was the Scar Seal left with him and not taken from his possession? The Knights of Zamor are a mysterious tribe of warriors, and while Elden Ring doesn't give too much detail on their culture, aside from their hatred of the fire giants, they leave a lasting impression with their tall, lanky build and frost magics. If you have any thoughts or theories surrounding the Knights of Zamor or their ancient heroes, leave a comment and we can discuss them as a community. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss out on our dives into your favorite enemies. We look forward to seeing you again for more Elden Lore.